Good evening. It's been a lovely day in Melbourne. Sunshine and blue skies and there's more of it on the way. Today the low was 11 degrees. It warmed up to 17 degrees with light winds and currently it's 16 degrees. Across Melbourne, today has been mostly sunny across the suburbs, with most places reaching 17 degrees. While around Victoria, it was cool overnight in the northwest, with temperatures dipping to 3 or 4 degrees. This morning, there were a few light showers in some parts of the state, mostly through the west, and a shower in Albury too. But for the most part, today was lovely, with a bit of sunshine, and temperatures slightly above average. Let's take a look around the country. The capital cities, well, they've stayed dry. Some lovely weather up in Brisbane, 28 degrees and sunny. Sydney is enjoying a run of sunny days. Today got to 22. Adelaide cleared for a sunny afternoon, up to 36 degrees in Darwin, and it's also been a lovely warm day in Perth. On the satellite photo, most of the country is looking clear. Clouds cleared away from the northwest of Victoria today and that's caused the showers to ease, leaving behind fine conditions. Most of the cloud is sitting here in the southwest of the country and that's thanks to a trough of low pressure. Now that will cause showers in Western Australia tomorrow and they'll eventually push into southern parts of Victoria later this week. Tomorrow, Victoria will stay dry, with the only rain around Australia likely up through northern New South Wales, north Queensland and in Tassie. Tomorrow, those showers will hit Cairns, but for the other major cities, it's looking like a lovely day. Partly cloudy for Brisbane and Sydney, a windy day in Canberra, a top of 20, warming up to 20 degrees in Adelaide, with sunshine on the way for Perth and a top of 25 degrees. Across Victoria, tomorrow is looking good. The day will start with morning fog and frost inland, with just a possibility of showers near the southwest and central coasts, mostly clearing during the morning. But most of the state is looking sunny and warm in the north, with temperatures heading up into the 20s. Around Melbourne, there'll be patchy morning fog through the east of the state, but once that clears, the sun will be out for most of the day. On the bays, winds will blow west to northwesterly, with the waves up at one metre. In Melbourne, it will drop to 7 degrees overnight and then we're expecting another fine day for us tomorrow, heading for a top of 17 degrees in the city with light winds. Taking a look at the week ahead, Wednesday will stay dry and it's warming up to 22 degrees. The showers come into play on Thursday, a low of 11 degrees and up to 16 with an 80% chance of showers, but then it's clearing up for Friday, cloudy and 20 degrees. Taking a look at the weekend, well, Saturday is looking like the pick of the week, partly cloudy and 25 degrees, just lovely, with showers returning for Sunday, 23 degrees, and those showers will continue on Monday, a low of 15 degrees, and then a top of 21 degrees. This is Melbourne's 10 News First. Tonight's headlines. A shocked father speaks out over the brutal arrest that's left his mentally ill son in a coma. Small steps to freedom as playgrounds reopen, but plans for an alfresco makeover leave business out in the cold. And brothers in arms jailed over a wild confrontation with police that ended with shots fired. The family of a man who was deliberately hit by a police car and stomped on by an officer has spoken out. The father of three was being treated at hospital for mental health concerns when he fled on foot and was chased by police. Jade Kotick has more.